Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Puppet Show Deep Dream. A surreal horror game that basically can just be described as a very weird dream. You must wear headphones, forget all the rules, etc. <laughs> Lucid dreaming has considerable potential promoting personal growth and self-development, enhancing self-confidence, improving mental and physical health, facilitating creative problem solving, and helping you to progress on the path to self-mastery. Or it can be really scary or full of anime. Depends on your type of lucid dreaming. Press the any key. Good thing this keyboard has an any key. Oh man, it's the opening of Final Fantasy VII. No, I'm in my bed. It is a very bright and red bed. Oh, here we go. I hear a slight voice, but I'm not too bothered by it. This could be anything. No reason to be, uh, alarmed. I am lucid dreaming about a cabinet. Me. Table. I guess it's a bed. Pillow. Inflatable tube monster. And... I have no idea what this is. It's like a... I was about to explain it could be a toilet, but... I don't know. Got for both switches. Um... Yeah. Put Teddy here. Well, maybe if you gave me Teddy. When did this all change? Friendly? Yes. I'm going to approach at a steady, non-intimidating pace. Are you okay with this? Oh! Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let me approach from the other angle. Whoa. Ultra Instinct, I see. Oh, we will be back. I guess the switches turn these on. They didn't affect that, which I, I still don't know what that is. Yes. Give me a hand. I cannot take. Nothing's changing. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we got a hand. So let's take that hand. And we're going to use it to get a handout of this teddy. Okay, we're cool. Oh! Hey, I said we're cool. We got... The, the hand helped me reach for the teddy. I guess. Logic. Put Teddy here. No! I'm a monster. This dream sucked. I think the dream is over though, hopefully. Nice wood.
Fight with the puppet, cut the ropes. Yes, that sounds normal. You know what I'm kind of slightly reminded of is the, the game The Void. Do I... How do I cut the ropes? Well, I have, like, less than gravity. Jump. Cut. It's not cutting. Huh. One. Oh my god. Cut it out. I think there's a weird skeletal hand up there. Ow! Give me that rope. Raw puppets on strings. And I am stuck in a performative art piece. Now we are walking to a wheelchair. And I just fell for the stairs. I'm assuming there was a gap in there or something. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. There you go. Get in. I can make it. I think. Was this the point? Do I push the wheelchair? Yeah, there's an invisible barrier here. I don't know what to do. No, it's over. It's went to black. This changed, didn't it? Was the wheelchair always on the tile screen? I don't think so, right? We also see snow coming in through the window. So... I'm assuming the reason the wheelchair is the end of the dream is that that's real life. We have, you know, we're in a wheelchair or something. And then I can kind of see the links between the... The puppet and the strings, I guess. And then I'm not sure where the teddy would fall into place. Or the cat. Or the thing with the weird ar long arms that's kind of coveting the teddy. I, I have played some other games from this developer. And they're all very surreal and bizarre. They're... They're, they're interesting to the point of how bizarre they are. That's, that's the best way to describe their games. They're just... It's just like they're just bizarre. They're just kind of weird. To a point where they're a little bit interesting. But yeah. Uh, the right type of game, I suppose. For all my late night uploads. If you're watching this late at night, I feel like this is the type of game you want to go to sleep to, you know what I mean? See that thing in the chair as your final thoughts. Anyway, so thank you all for watching you played Puppet Show Deep Dreams. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.